Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. We got a third town today, that's exciting. And we have money, we have some money. Oh, he needs four farms, okay. Why, why is this not working? Hmm. Guess we'll get the Imperium. Okay, so something was going on over here, but I think Yaka kind of dealt with that for us. But we're not going to worry about defending ourselves. This is a dangerous place to be. still casting something. The plan here is just a full clear this, which at this point is just two more things. We did that last time, and then this will be a nice spot for this outpost to grow down. Now this stuff up here is probably going to center stake. Maybe the bedchambers go to here, I'm not sure. Center stake... I mean, there's not a lot up there. Cut off here. So yeah, this is probably center stake. Okay, Draconic Vitality. Time to have more hit points. And be spiky, I guess. Uh, dragons are often spiky. I suppose that's fair. Okay, fiery arrows. And we get another hero because we got another town. So it works. The war mage. More damage on magic attacks. Or melee have a chance of applying taunt. You know what? I don't think I've ever done... Um, I guess I, I rarely do sword and shield types. Let's let's do that. Satirical orb. No. Melee attackers have a chance of bleeding. No, oh, these are both pretty good for a taunt build. I think this is guaranteed damage. And it's a damage channel that we don't really have access to anywhere else. I know that I'm hurting my my income by doing this, but I'll keep the satirical orb for money. Communal tent. Oh yeah, you guys are suffering on the happiness front. Let's get that tavern. Well, it'll take a while, but you guys desperately need more production, so we'll start with that. Easy choice. Easy choices all around. As for you... Hmm. I guess this one would make the most sense. And I don't think I have a research post yet, so let's just get one. Rat Pike needs a governor. Okay. Uh, okay, what happened? Did something spawn here? Yes. 
Astral, okay, the Astral Rift sent some troops after me. That is not ideal, but fine, I guess. Okay, Maze of Crystal. You discover a thicket of trees made of pure crystal. You find yourself confused by the reflected light around you. You discover that the further you explore, the more disorienting and twisty this maze becomes. The forest of crystal and light confuses your sense of direction. As you and your army stumble through the maze, you're not sure what is and what is not a path, or merely a reflection. Okay. So we can do a fight. I guess we're doing a fight. Living Fog, huh? Mirror Veil. 50% of non-physical back. Okay. Well, that worked. Uh, Arcfire Orb. Okay, that's pretty neat. I don't think we need it. You discover a wandering minstrel. Right, this event. Okay, a minstrel jumps down from his wagon. He's excited to see you. Oh, great elder dragon turn out. You are a wonder. I am so lost. Ambushers. Ruffians everywhere. If you guide me through the mirror maze, I'll give you a reward for my wagon. We've got a bunch of mana. We could get city stability. We could get money. Probably gonna do... Yeah, two turns of money versus a turn and a half of knowledge. Or two turns of Empyrean. Well, Empyrean is a pretty rare resource. Kind of need to deal with that, but I kind of don't want to. The problem. Hero leveled up. Good adds fire damage. Sure. I'm nice saying I could switch to this, but. Uh, archery isn't going to help with the, the orb, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so we might have lost that unit. This one. Depending on what they attack. Uh, or they can drag this into it. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I did think that was a possibility, and I'm not happy that it played out that way. And we lost both of our Sunderers. It's not great, but they are just tier 1 units and we're replacing them, so it should be fine. Uh, Treasured Sister. Elder Dragon Taranath, your hero, Cognag the Dexterous, kneels before you, distressed. My little sister, she went dowsing for precious stones, yet never returned. You migrated to Skull Pit when you recruited me. She has been prospecting for precious stones and metals since she was a wee girl, carrying around an oversized dowsing rod. Recently, a faraway gold vein caught her attention. Only my sister returns from Sizable Hall within three days. Today is the eighth day since she left. The Dexterous size turned misty. That's an impressive feat for a lizard. Uh, will you help me find my sister, my elder dragon? I worry for her safety. Let me mark the gold vein on your map. Okay, mystery boon. I mean, sounds good. I have to go back here again. 
I mean, they're not that strong. I'm trying to be done this area, but... Didn't I already clear that? That gold was there before, right? Well, I guess we'll clear that and then go back. Little Jenga Province takes less time, gives more rewards, and heals. Okay. Faster health regeneration, that's probably just good to have. Let's grab it. Okay, Skull Pit can annex again. Oh, are you guys not clearing this? Oh, well, let's increase the Ritual Pyre even more. They are stronger than us because they have a fire dragon. Okay. Let's uh, let's just chill for a bit and actually heal our units because we are starting to take casualties, which isn't good. Uh, which is partially my fault because I just auto battle a lot. I'm not currently producing any units. The War Shaman. And probably we'll, we want a whole bunch of Furies as well. So we do have those Flame Arrows researched. mana in a decent spot so we can start having some summoning going on. Okay, you guys are pillaging. Ah. Hostile Citadel. Magistrate Shara Oror of the Free City Citadel greets you with hostility. The Om Onmar of Citadel fight for our freedom and stand against anyone who threatens our free city, even when they are led by an elder dragon like you. Okay. Are these the guys that sent a raiding party against me earlier? Maybe. Oh, speaking of raiding parties... That's not good. Hurry it. <laughs> City stability would be nice. Carnival of Flash gives me draft for adjacent farm. For Jason Forest. Okay, I'll get that there. Okay, so supposedly there's this ritual of alacrity thing my faction can do. Hold to look for it. Here it is. Units standing in the center of the city restore 50% outpost. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. That was a little anticlimactic. I was expecting there to actually be an effect or a pop-up or notification sound or something. But no, you just push a button and something happens and your troops gain health. Okay. Well. I guess we're done building for a while. No more empire building. Now we have to actually defend ourselves. Now it's going to be way too late. Hopefully they don't attack me, because AI often makes bad decisions. Let's hope that they continue to make bad decisions. Um, and not very satisfying to play that way, is it? And this, like, I didn't know where it was because I didn't actually see the city that had sent the raiding party. Now I finally have met it, so I had a sense of where they were coming from. Alright, this is just straight up damage upgrades, that looks pretty good. Now Searing Blades is sort of a damage upgrade. Let's grab that. Kameen has been invaded, province is being pillaged, I know. Okay, Rat Pike can annex. And this isn't even good. I guess we probably want this one so that we can get down to here. Oh, the quarry. Food for thought. A group of hungry and frightened faith folk do their best to hide behind Winter Fairy. Spell Pit doesn't grow for a turn, but we gain a bunch of knowledge. I'd say one that's probably actually a, a decent trade. Skull Pit doesn't grow for a turn, but we get. Basically, an extra two turns worth of knowledge out of it. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, you can really move. Okay, let's put a pyromancer here. Walls up. A low risk battle with just the one stack, but if they both come in, it's a big problem. Yeah, they are splitting up, sort of. Hmm, sixteen hundred versus fourteen hundred. Extra 
mana. I guess we go for the Searing Blades next turn. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight that, but... I definitely do want to fight it before they get reinforcements. Hmm... Does this place have the ability to do Furies? It does. When you guys finished your workshop, that's fine. I'm not doing anything else right now. Do we try to stop them? I don't think we can do that right now. I think we go up this way. Okay, anything up that way? And if I go up, you probably will attack me. Was that the right choice? Maybe we go loop around, cut off the reinforcements while we're waiting for our units to come in. We, uh, we take out this guy. That's what we do. Okay, Pebbles of Blood is a siege project. Okay, I mean, plus morale for me, minus morale for them. Not nothing. This would be our first tier 3 unit. Probably just research that. Next turn we get Searing Blades. They can just tag Rat Bike. So let's just not build anything here. Uh, Ancestral Seer Hall does give Knowledge and Draft, that's pretty nice. Investor Imperium, they say. Low stability, didn't I? I'll stop this, it's okay. Yeah. I thought I dealt with that, and I kind of did, but then something else came up. 
Can you win a battle? It's against my instant summon a bandit army under your control. I might actually just do that. Lure of the Horde next time. Shock Knight, Defender, Daylight Spear, Steel Shaper, Arcanist, and Pursuer. Sure, random units. and demand. Okay. Hero will level up. What are we going to do with you? More damage, probably. Which added both fire and physical. That was nice. Ruler leveled up. Eight, okay, yeah, we just got way stronger. Really? That's a signature skill? That is so weak compared to... to so many of these other skills. Bring someone back from the dead. This is a free action. I think we'll go with Assassinate here. Alright, and we can get Chaos Aura. Terrifying Gouging. Forging, rather. Alright, you, great axe and a breastplate, well, we would like the money, and also having your artifacts gives us more benefit than having you in the crypt or prison, because of how our empire is set up. Okay. And then with this army forcing us, we can probably take them. And we'll get our next enchantment up as well. Things are looking a little bit better. Are they not even going to try to take my city? No, they want to. They, they just really wanted to pillage. Okay. Are there more troops coming? No. Yeah, I think this is manageable. The purpose in the domain of your city, Skull Pit, has been bountiful this year. The city is well known for its impressive agriculture. Now it has outdone even itself. Food stalls turn the grand square into a maze filled with aromas and flavors. As children parade the streets with baskets full of the latest yield, there is no doubt that all of the other rulers are in awe of this display of prosperity. Let's sell the excess for a little bit of money. Making good alignment, we're not doing that. We can throw a lavish party, which is a decent amount of Imperium. And steady stability, I think we're selling it. We need money. Searing Blades is ready. Oh.
I mean, I did just get a whole bunch more units, so... Kind of makes sense. Uh, we just unlock the ability to have war slaves. Raising cities grants population. Where cities gain draft for a turn. Like lure of the horde, chance of free units. The only problem with that is that they aren't going to be my faction's units. That is expensive. Well, we do definitely need more mana suddenly. Okay, the Rat Pike has been conquered. It's fine. Forest of Stakes is done. I don't know if I just want to keep going with more forests though. Maybe we'll do a Festival of Flesh here. We could expand towards that and have some more mana. Uh, Berserkers would be nice to have, and this is boosted, so that's probably what we should do. Yeah, Carnival of Flesh. do want, but not as high a priority. That can be rebuilt. Returns there. I don't know, whatever. Let's get the thing started. I guess we can go around this way, because I'm assuming that's what they did. We'll just have to see what they do. Okay, nothing out that way. Can I see what they're doing to this city? Are they pillaging it or absorbing it? We're migrating. This isn't even their main leader. But did they release it as a vassal? Releases independent, maybe. We'll just conquer them. Unfortunately, everybody is still... still in... one sort of unit. So 700 plus 700 plus 500. It's 21. So we do... decently over them. Okay. Lost the city. You don't have to tell every single individual province to. Now, can we reach them this turn? We can. I don't 
think I don't think I really have the time for that right now though. That's gonna be a pretty long fight, probably. I've got stuff to do. So I think actually I'm just gonna call it for now, and we'll start with this fight next time. I will see you then.